All right, there is one big trend at this year's auto show. It's taking people who attend the show and putting them into a virtual world. Virtual reality is all over the place. And Jamie Edmonds found herself right in the middle of it today. She's live at Kobo. And Jamie, uh, I saw Ford actually used VR to unveil a car with this. Hey there, Jason. I'm in my own little world today. That's virtual reality world because so many of the automakers at this year's auto show are using virtual reality in plenty of applications from choosing your own color of your car to choosing your whole car. It's really cool stuff. And today Ford up the ante. Let's put our headsets on and let's invite everyone in the audience to come along for the ride. This was not your average car reveal. This morning at Ford, we got props. We thought we'd take an ambitious creative move, give everyone a VR headset and allow them to experience that kind of exhilaration of uh, GT500. Once we took the headset off, that very car we saw in the virtual world was right there in front of us in the real world. I think gave everyone a really special moment they always remember. Alistair Wilson is the managing director of Imagination, Ford's global creative partner. On top of showing off the GT virtually, they decided to do the same with the brand new Ford Explorer. We want to be able to get thousands of people into that new car. Um, so we, whilst we can't do it physically because they haven't been built yet, uh, we're going to take people virtually. Go ahead and put your glasses on. For the first time at the North American International Auto Show, it's a VR driving experience. Inside a real Explorer with a real driver around a real track inside Kobo, but with the headset on, oh my God. <laughs> we're in the Colorado Rockies, we're in the desert. It's going to be pretty sensational and again, a world first of how we're trying to marry technology and storytelling. All right, so I told you it was really cool stuff. It felt like you were in Colorado in the car, but of course I was right here in Kobo. If we time this right, we have one coming down this really steep hill as we speak. When public days start on Saturday, you guys can come out and try this really cool virtual reality world for yourselves.